Hello and welcome to Tiger Facts. Today, four Tennessee State University athletes will try to see if they can figure out which fun facts belongs to each other. Before we get started, let's introduce our participants for today. First, from men's basketball, welcome uh, Carlos Marshall. Carlos, uh, tell us uh, more about yourself and what you've been up to over the last couple of weeks. Um, I'm a junior, uh, majoring in health science. And of course, you know, I play basketball. Um, yeah. I've been just relaxing, just doing homework, just getting my body right, and just enjoying the film. And Carlos, where, where are you joining, uh, joining us from today? I'm in Memphis, Tennessee. All right, perfect. Next is uh, uh, Gina Rivera Ortiz uh, from volleyball. Hello, Gina. Hi. Um, I'm, Car I'm Carlos. I'm Gina. <laughs> I'm from Puerto Rico. I'm a sophomore, and my major is health science. And how's the uh, last couple weeks been treating you? Um, I've just been working out and doing homework. There's not much to do. Okay. Well, uh, from football joining us today, uh, we have uh, Josh Trueheart. What up, what up, what up? Uh, where am I at? I am in Franklin, Tennessee, actually. Uh, I'm in the woods. I'm in the woods. Uh, I'm a junior. and I'll be upcoming senior this uh, next semester. And uh, my major is mass communications with a concentration in integrated marketing. And uh, what has kept you busy over the last couple of weeks? Everything. That's pretty much changed me. I still been on the move. Uh, I've been working out, doing homework. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Really, I've been trying to find like trails, just like up in like Tennessee, and just kind of going them. Like I've been been through uh, Notches Trace, which is in uh, Bellevue. I've been through like a, a trail that's out in uh, East Nashville. There's like a couple more I'm trying to get to eventually, but it's been pretty smooth. Okay. And from softball, welcome Savannah Wallace. Hey, um, I'm in San Diego right now. Um, I'm a senior, and I'm majoring in business administration. All right. And uh, what have you been up to the last couple of weeks since the beaches are closed in California? Uh, I have a good sunset view from my window, so I've been watching the sunsets, just like working out and doing homework. All right. Terrific. Well, uh, here's how it works. Uh, I will mention a fact about one of our four tigers, and they will all try to guess who the fact is about. They will then turn around their answers at the same time. Uh, the Tiger with the most points at the end of the show will earn bragging rights. So let's get started here. Um, and we're going to start with an easy one, we hope. So which of the four of you has traveled to Canada? So once you figure out who you, will, who you think it is, write it down on your piece of paper there. So is it Josh, Gina, Carlos, or Savannah? Okay, you guys ready? Yeah. All right, let's see your answers. Okay, yeah. three of you say Gina, and Carlos, you went with Josh. Uh, Savannah, why do you think it was Gina? Uh, I don't know, she's kind of adventurous. Maybe she's traveled, I don't know. Okay. Well, the answer is Gina. And uh, Gina, tell us a little bit about uh, what took you to Canada. I don't know. It was Christmas. So my family wanted to do a family vacation. So we just went from New York to Canada and just traveled around. Okay. And how long did you spend in Canada? I was five days in Canada. Okay. Beautiful. All right, so everybody has gotten on the board except for Carlos. Uh, but the good news is, is there is a question, at least one question about everybody. So everybody will score at least one point, uh, unless you uh, kind of forget about uh, uh, that the fact that that was actually you. So, all right, second question: uh, Which one of you can cut hair? Which one of you can cut hair? which of course is probably a great skill to have right now in your household since all the uh, barbers and hair places are probably closed at the moment. Which one of you can cut hair? Okay, go ahead and give me your answers here. 
And yeah, let's see. Everybody went Carlos except for Savannah. You went with Josh. Uh, Josh, why do you think it's Carlos? Cause I I, I know some people call this the cup, but I didn't see him talk about it in class, so I know Carlos cut. Okay. <laughs> well, good. We're off to a pretty good start here. So Carlos is now on the board with one. He joins up with Savannah. And uh, Josh and Gina each have two. Yeah, I'm going with that. I'm uh, going with that. Yeah. So Carlos, Carlos, tell us about your skills on cutting hair. Man, I've been cutting hair since about 10th grade. Nobody really just taught me how to do it. I just, just picked it up on my own. Oh, hey, I got a question. Have you ever messed up anybody haircut? Actually, no. Nah, I messed up my own. Though. <laughs> <laughs> and has it come in handy uh, during this quarantine time where uh, you have actually uh, had to cut some people's hair? Well, as far as the quarantine, nah, I haven't been cutting no hair, but I just recently <laughs> cut my own hair. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for our next question. Uh, which one of you here played golf in high school? Which one of the four of you played golf in high school? All right. All right, go ahead and uh, show us your answers if we're ready to go. And everybody chose Savannah. Gina, why, why do you say Savannah? Um, I don't know. Well, I know Carlos. We're not about to play golf. You'd be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a swing of golf club now. Hey, golf is fun, though. Hey, it's fun for real. Like it's Maybe I want to go. Let's go. <laughs> so, Sav, obviously you are the one uh, that played golf. Tell us a little bit about your experiences in golf and how you got into it. Well, my dad used to work at TaylorMade when I was younger. So my older sister and I went to high school together, and she was like, you just got to play with me. And I was like, no, like, golf is lame. Like, it's not even a sport. Like, whatever. So I just did it to, like, hang out with her more, and then I actually ended up, like, enjoying it and got pretty good at it. So. All right. Well, terrific. All right. So now uh, our next question, which is a little variation off of the very first question we had today, but which one of you has traveled to eight different countries? One of you has traveled to eight different countries. Mm. I don't know. Yo, somebody hit this one. I think someone's, uh, has everybody uh, got their answers? Selected. All right, uh, go ahead and flip it over and let's see who you believe has traveled to eight different. Okay, wow, we have a lot of different ones here. So. <laughs> Savannah, uh, why did you uh, select who you chose? I mean, she, I, she's been to Canada. It's just, just kind of go with it, you know. Well, uh, only one person got it right. Obviously, it was the one person who chose themselves, and that would be Josh. You Josh. did. <laughs> well, definitely. Tell us a little bit about your adventures. Uh, so I've been on a lot of cruises. Been three of them since like my freshman year. And so we, I was, I had a, we would take week cruises or whatnot and go to different countries. So I've been to Belize, Mahogany Bay, Grand Cayman, Turks and Caicos, Dominican Republic, um, and like a few others I can't remember. But I'd have been all over, so. Yeah. Okay, well terrific. And uh, what was your favorite spot? Turks and Caicos, okay. for sure. Awesome. For sure. All right, so after four questions, Josh, is in the lead as he has uh, got yes, all sir. four correct. Gina trails uh, by one with three, and Carlos and Savannah are uh, bringing up uh, the river with two apiece, but we're about ready to get going with the next set of questions. So which one of you can do a handstand and hold it for a period of time? Which one of you can do a handstand and hold it for a period of time? Now, we're not including a swimming pool. 
This means you cannot be in a pool. You have to actually be out on dry ground. So which one of you can do a handstand and hold it for a period of time? Okay, let's see your answers. Okay, two of you go Savannah. Two of you go Carlos. Uh, Savannah, why do you say Carlos? I'm just guessing at this point, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> well, you uh, guessed correctly as uh, Carlos is our uh, one who can do handstand. Uh, unfortunately, we won't be able to see him do it here since he's kind of frozen in a the car there. <laughs> is he moving? Is he even? <laughs> I think uh, I think he's uh, he is uh, frozen, and we we lost Carlos for a moment, and hopefully Carlos will join us here in a couple of seconds. Oh no! <laughs> so, but Josh, you say uh, you can do uh, a handstand in a pool. Yeah. Me too. Everyone can do that. But see, here's the thing, though: not for a long period of time. I could just chill out, you know, hang upside down. That's like a matter of like if you can hold your breath long enough. It's really all core work. Man, yeah, that too. You can do it the full as long as you want. No, nah, not everybody can. Yes. You'd be surprised. Can you do it? <laughs> In a pool? Yeah, last, can you do it? I don't know the last time I've been able to even stand in the pool regularly, so I, I don't know if it's going to work. Oh. <laughs> I, I don't know if we can uh, hold our breath for that long. So, Okay, well, unfortunately, we have lost Carlos here for, for a second, so what we will do is we will go ahead and continue on and see if we can get Carlos to join us back here in just a couple seconds. No commercial break or nothing? <laughs> <laughs> He's back. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So, so we lost Carlos for a second, but he is back. And uh, Carlos, he, he uh, and he shows that uh, he can do a handstand. And uh, as we were mentioning, Carlos, we unfortunately wish we could see you do it right now. But obviously, you're in a vehicle, so you probably could not show us. But uh, how did you find out that you could uh, hold a handstand for a long period of time? Man, I really could do it when I was younger. I was in the outside doing it, man. I, was, <laughs> I didn't know I could do it. Well, well, man, it works. While uh, you were away, all three of the other members said that they can hold a handstand extremely well in a swimming pool. So. <laughs> all right, so our next question. Wait. Wait, did I get that one correct? You did get it correct. So you and Savannah were the only two to get it correct. All right, our next question is, uh, which one of you has been in dance for 12 plus years? Which one of you has been in dance for 12 plus years? All right, go ahead and show us your answers. Carlos, unfortunately, I cannot see your answer. There's and everybody selects Savannah. Gina, why do you uh, why do you believe it's Sab? Carlos and you are. Hey, I can, hey, I can get down, man. Huh? We can salsa, we can tango. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So basically, uh, it was process elimination because you felt like she knew she couldn't dance when she heard the question. She said, well, that's not me. (laughs) (laughs) Savannah, tell us about your dance. Uh, I did like tap and jazz and then hip hop um, up until my senior year of high school. Okay. Well, uh, we have become a little bit closer on the scoring. Josh is still leading with five. Oh, I'm about to win. Los, Gina, and Sav are trailing by just one at four. With uh, <laughs> two questions to go. So, which one of you has swam with sharks? 
One of you has been daring and has swam with sharks. Which of the four of you are we speaking of? Okay, go ahead and show us your answer. <laughs> and Carlos, uh, you went with <laughs> Sam. Everybody else went with... Uh, you spelled my name wrong? <laughs> you know how you spell my name? H-E-A-R-T is my name. Not H, not Kevin Hart. <laughs> Gina, why do you think it's uh why do you think it was uh Josh? Because he said he won a lot of quizzes and that's usually like a two degrees when you go to the island. Okay, that's actually a, a very deductive reasoning, very good job. And uh Josh, tell us a little bit about that. Uh what was I? Uh, I wanna say I was in I don't know where I was at. I was in some other country, though. And uh, they were like, hey, we have an excursion if you guys want to go swim with sharks. And I was like, well, it's on my book list. I ain't never done it, so why not? So, yes, I got in. It was like, what, it was five of them. I had a snorkel on and flippers. And, yeah, we had, like, a tour guide trying to help us out. But it was fun. We got the pet on the rub and the rattle. <laughs> okay. All right. So, uh our, fa our final question is, which one of you plans to attend law school after graduation? So we heard all the different majors earlier. Which one of you plans to attend law school after graduation? Okay, go ahead and give me your answers here. <laughs> Los, uh, everybody chose Gina. Uh, Los, why why do you think uh, Gina would be uh, the one to go to life school after? Because I heard about it. Ah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if maybe. Uh, People had lost arguments to her, so I kind of saw that going. But Gina, tell us a little bit about your aspirations to go into law. I really, I really don't know. I just been saying that since I was in high school. But I, my major has nothing to do with law, but I still want to go to law school. <laughs> All right, well, congratulations on that. Um, so that would bring our total to Carlos with five, Gina and Sav each got six correct. And of course the winner today is Josh with seven. Josh with seven. You see, you see. Let's do it. I do want to say that of all the questions that were asked, there were three questions where the three of you, or at least three of you, all got it correct or said that you had participated in that thing and one person did not. One of them was uh, that uh, you love to water ski and there was only one person who chose a no on love to water ski and that would be Carlos. Carlos, what's the fear of water skiing? There's not no fear. It's just something I just can do. No. Have you ever have you ever been? No, nah, I haven't. Well, maybe I tried, though. Well, maybe I'm the other three will take you. So uh, I'm I'm so so I'll try. <laughs> All right. And then I do have to and and uh, have to say that there was one other interesting one when when we asked um, uh, never go a day without painting their nails. Now, two people actually said yes to this. Now, one was Savannah, so that one wasn't a big surprise. And I'm sorry to pick on you, but uh, Los, uh, can you explain the answer that you gave to us? Not that we're judging. Not that we're judging. I don't recall the answer. <laughs> If you ever need your desk, I got you. I think, I think it was a typo. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> but look though, I do. But look though, I do like to have my nails looking nice. So. No, for sure. Most definitely. That was not the question though. The question was cleaning your nails. Yeah, <laughs> <See. laughs> uh, damn. I accept. I accept. I accept clear paint on a good day. <laughs> All right, that was great. All right, so once again, uh, Josh is our winner. So thank you all for uh, joining us here, and I hope everyone learned something new about at least one of our tigers. So uh, we hope that uh, you all take care and stay safe from Tennessee State Athletics. Thank you again. Bye.